And the prosecution in, in the trial this week, they've been saying that effectively it's not her faith in Christianity that is the problem. It's the way in which she chooses to interpret the Bible, that that can amount to criminality. And that those are their words. Um, this is very, very disturbing. They also said uh, that in the pamphlet she wrote where she equated homosexuality with being sinful, that that in itself amounted to hate speech and criminal behavior, in which case we better round up everyone in the Vatican, right? Well, exactly. And the prosecutor keeps on saying this case is not about theology. It's not about Christian teaching. But if you look at the arguments that the prosecutor has submitted, the written arguments before court and then hearing her in court this week and at the district court, it's clear that it is absolutely about the Bible and about historical Orthodox Christian teaching. The prosecutor goes into great length in the legal submissions to explain how psychologically damaging the concept of sin is and how it can cause real harm. And in fact, it was this word sin that Pivey used in her tweet that she lifted directly from the words of scripture. And so it's absolutely about the Bible, Christian teaching. And as you say, it won't just be, if, if the prosecutor is successful and if this results in a conviction, then this won't be the only case by any means. There will be cases throughout the country because this has been historical teaching of Christianity since its inception.